Hello, you have caught me as I am preparing this path to our Arboretum. I have done quite a bit since the last time you were here. I have upgraded our energy production once again at the refinery. Maybe it's enough this time, maybe it isn't. We'll find out, I guess. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Boom. Now we have a nice path that leads straight up to the Arboretum. If you guys want to see how effective this thing is, check this. Oh yeah, tons of stuff in here. I don't know where the sand came from, to be honest. But, as you can see in my inventory, I'm only holding one piece of bread left from my trek through the abandoned mine shaft, and I can't eat wood. So, it's time to make a different kind of farm. That's right, a crop farm. So once again, we go back to forestry to show how it's done. So we're going to build a bigger farm this time. Uh, what else? Where are my blocks that I need? I need a farm gearbox. Remember, that's where the energy goes into. I need a farm valve. That is where water goes in. You know, while we're down here, we might as well... I am blocked out, actually. No, I don't want these water artichoke seeds. I'm, I'm destroying my old farm to make my new farm. It's okay, it makes sense, I promise. I gotta find water first. <laughs> It's a nice spring to have there, nice handy spring. It's eventually going to get so low that I can't reach down there. Okay, cool. So we're just going to... I have lost my pickaxe again. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to put... We're going to put a farm block here. And then we're going to put a farm hatch here. And that's, remember, that's where the items comes out. So we're going to have to run a pipe out of the hill. That's not hard. Then we're going to put water here, and water on that side, infinite water. That's not where the aqueous accumulator goes. The aqueous accumulator goes over there, Mark. Good job, Mark. Um, here we go. Let's try. Now we're going to get this one right. Aqueous accumulator goes here. And then all around it, we put water blocks, if we can. I realize this is not the right tool for it. I don't really care. So one there. One there. Oh, I can't reach quite back there. One there. One there. One there. One there. There we go. That is the farm valve. I believe I put it on... Did I seriously put it with that one facing the wrong way? Okay, that's fine. I can fix that. Maybe. We'll see. Yoink. Mm. <laughs> Break the farm block. Give me the aqueous accumulator. That's not where I wanted it at all. Give me the aqueous accumulator. That's the valve, right? Good. Put the farm back, back down, and we continue on with the farm block structure in the middle. Little hiccup there, it's fine though. Let's move it on. Actually, while we're down there, let's just put all the pipes and such in order. That's a farm block. That's the farm gearbox over there. So let's just... We know energy is going to have to go there at some point. So we can just put some... Maybe. I say this. Um, like that. Uh, I guess this can all move. It's just going to get covered up with stone brick anyway. So, there we go. That should be attached to that. We can always fill that up later, make it look better. Okay. Farm blocks it is. And then... Now, your layer of whatever building material that you made your farm blocks out of can be on any level except on top of the farm block level. Now I have a lot of stone bricks, and I mean a lot. Let me just check how many I need. I believe I need 120. Yes, I do need 120. And this time you go four across, like this, five out in every cardinal direction. That's going to cut it real frickin' close to my house. Actually, no, nah, it's not too bad, actually. I can deal with it. This is going to make me food, so I'm fine with it. Let me do that. And I believe there's a farm hatch here. Yes. 
So remember to make a farm hatch work, you just put a wooden transport pipe, no enter engine needed, which is awesome. And I'm just gonna leave that out there. Awesome. That's that. Now I'm gonna be back so I can clear out all this area so I can put all the farm blocks down. Jump! Stealth! Jump! I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Let us continue building this farm. 4x4, four four, I believe. 5 out. Yes. That's fine. Easy matter to fix. Yeah, but this is going to be our crop farm. And a crop farm only grows crops, but not all crops. Just the kind that look like wheat. So wheat and barley. Do -do -do. This is a much bigger farm, if you can't tell. It takes 120 structure blocks, so stone brick and 64 farm blocks. And I don't have to explain what those are. You watch me put them down twice now. Of course, after this farm, there's more and more farms. There's vegetable farms, which need a different type of thing. Here, now you gotta make a diamond shape. Like that, 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 like that. Okay, cool. I don't, it's hard to make a diamond shape when you're not looking at like the template that the wiki shows you but I think I get it now you just do the plus sign and then you just kind of connect the lines from there like this yeah like that and I should have just enough stone bricks to do this if I put them all in the right place which we shall see and one more set should be just enough. I think I made 127. Yep, and I needed 120. Excellent. As you can see here, here's the pipe coming out of the hatch again. I made a couple more solar panels for this because if I'm gonna make food automated, I might as well make it at least environmental as well. Can I just... Can I... There we go. As you see, I'm out of food in my inventory, so this cannot come online fast enough. So we talk to it, we give it dirt, and I forget, is it going to do it without fertilizer? No, it needs fertilizer to start it. There we go. Are you putting dirt down? Oh, hello. Yes, you are indeed putting dirt down on top of me. I don't have nearly enough dirt, but I do know who does, and it's the quarry. Actually, I do have enough dirt. <laughs> I used up a lot of it. Awesome. There we go. That's that. One ginormous. Actually, this is only a medium-sized farm. The big one is 5x5 five five in center. Now we're going to give it seeds and barley seeds. No, we're not. Oh, right, 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 right. It's still a arboretum because I have not given it an upgrade. And the upgrade I want to give it is a special type of circuit. Is it iron? No, that's vegetable. Tin, manual, bronze. Bronze. Bronze makes the crop farm. So if you input, input, input... I believe you just put the circuit in inside? I might be wrong. I've never used this version to upgrade it. Usually you just gave it different things and it became a better farm. Can I? No, it needs a circuit. Okay, how do I make that? A circuit from forestry. Basic circuit board is just tin and redstone. Intricate is what you need for that, but I don't think I need that. Tin ingot and redstone. Sure, let's make that. I know I have the right electron tube. Because if you look at the tooltip, it does say crop farm. So let's just make one of those real quick. One of these. Did I pick up six? No, somehow my game was like, nah, you don't need that sixth one. And I'm like, I think I do. One of that and that. And that and that. No recipe. What am I, what am I getting wrong? Oh, it needs water. Uh, can I input water just normally, like with a bucket? Or is that just going to flood my machine shop? That's going to flood my machine shop, isn't it? No. Okay, good. Cool. Give me that basic circuit board. And, okay. Now I need... What do I need, actually? It gives me an enchantment. Excellent. Can I combine... No, no, no. I need a soldering iron. 
How do I use that? I'll be right back. I've never had to do this before. Okay, so to get an electron tube onto a circuit, you need to solder it with this soldering iron I have in my inventory right now. So you right-click the air, and you go to a farm, right? You... Uh, managed farm... Oh, I need more of those. Okay, I do have more of those. Don't worry. I need it for all the cardinal directions. That's fine. I know I have more in the thermionic fabricator. Yeah, I do. Sweet. Okay, back to the soldering iron. Not an electric engine. There we go. Managed farm. Like that. And then basic circuit board. No layouts found. What are... Use the soldering iron to turn your tree farm into any kind of farm you want. Okay, what am I missing now? What? What did I miss? Soldering iron. Soldering iron GUI. Place all the tubes. Place in the board will immediately permit. Do not stack the tubes. Oh, can it only hold one? Well, that's not cool. I just, I just want it to be a crop farm. Just turn it into a crop farm. I'll be right back. Okay, I figured it out. It's stupid. God, that's annoying. To make an intricate circuit and then connect the vacuum tubes to it. Otherwise, it would only use a fourth of the farm. Now, I can't remember. Is hummus the thing that you also use for... There you go. I want crop farm. Are you going to switch, or is hummus how you grow that, too? No, I think you're right. I'll give you seeds. And I'll give you seed. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Has to turn it into farmland. And I think it's going to give little ponds everywhere to irrigate. Yes, yes it is. Okay, now let's just watch this happen. Oh, fuck me. Never mind. Now we can watch it happen. There we go. Is he going to need more dirt or doesn't understand how to change it? No, it does understand how to change it. Excellent. You going to get this little piece of hummus over here? There you go. Not hummus. Humus. Hummus is the spread you put on, like, pizza bread. Humus is dead and decaying organic material that's extremely, um... Nutrient rich. I bet if it had more energy, or if it had any energy at all, because it's nighttime. Ah, uh, but no, that looks right. That looks good. That took us forever to make that farm. Oh well, now you know how to make the circuit boards for a farm. You take the soldering iron. And you actually use it. There we go. You go over to the managed farms. You give it the electron tubes that you want in each side. And if you want it to hold all four, you need an intricate circuit board. Put those in. Once you have all four of them in and you put the circuit board in, it immediately turns it into one of these. And then you shove that into the farm and it makes it a managed farm, crop farm, crop farm, crop farm, crop farm. And if you didn't understand that, I don't know how else I could have said it. Okay, but, oh wait, no, no, you're almost done. Oh, come on, you don't have enough energy, do you? Ah. Uh, sleepy time. Get in the bed, Mark. You see all those game modes? That was me seeing if I had broken something in my survival mode. And I'm like, okay, maybe I just really need to test it out. But don't worry. Anything I did in creative mode to make sure that I didn't break anything, I deleted immediately. So no worries there. Are you just going to finish finish that up? You just had a little bit of hummus over here. One more. You can do it. You can do it. You got. You got there you go. Excellent. That are, is all the seeds I gave it, and it's making barley and wheat, which basically are the exact same thing. And I did give it fertilizer, otherwise it wouldn't even be trying to work. But we now are out of so many materials in our base, it's not even funny. The rest of the fertilizer went in there. Tons of tin and copper went into making the farms again. Energy production is good at the refinery not so good at the quarry i might want to switch those around actually if you see over here at the machine shop i finally upgraded it to the next level it's a redstone solar panel and it really puts out the energy in fact i think our our energy cube is full can i almost no i think it's full because now the um redstone panel is collecting energy and not the energy cube but that's good have we picked up anything in here that we need to modify the quarries filters no okay cool so we have a managed crop farm a pretty big one up there on where our old crop farm used to be 
I had to clear out that farm, which was, um, let's say interesting, because they did it at nighttime, and there were mandrake seeds there. So I got attacked by a bunch of little screaming babies. So, that was fun. Oh well, though. That's done. This is done. It looks pretty good. We now have food for a while. That will... I mean, there's no way I can eat all that food in one time. I mean, it will make way more food than I need in a short amount of time. I am starving right now, but that's fine. That, that, that starving is the cost of progress. And of course, I will see you guys next time.